Hello everyone, welcome back to DMG. Last video we built the tiny arcade kit. This time I'm gonna build the pocket arcade. Now it's it's the same hardware, but it's a lot smaller. It's this tiny little package. Now, let's see. It doesn't have the same flip open window as last time. Ooh, and it comes with a little wrist strap as well. Here's our instructions, and then there's something in bubble wrap at the bottom. I'd assume that's the electronics, maybe the screen to protect it. Yeah. So similar idea, open source, got a little Arduino processor. You can write your own games for it in Arduino IDE. Not the uh, connector, the programming language. Oh, so the board's already like fully assembled. You've got a little sound and power switch. I'm gonna turn the power off for now. I'll have fun peeling those later. Let's see, the first thing, I wanna make sure you have the following, I think I do. First, assemble the electronics, give them a quick test. So, similar to last time. I love these little kits. So, battery just goes there, speaker goes there. Now, it wants you to stick the speaker face down to the board. I don't really get why you would do that because you wouldn't really hear it too well, I assume. But it says to just stick it right there, or at least in the pictures online that I've seen, they have it there. And I could just coil up that cable a bit so it fits. Uh, let's see, for the battery, I could wind up the cable and stick it right here. But for now, I wanna, I wanna play couple little games. Alright, so similar to the Pocket Arcade. Alright, so does it just not come with games, this one? Let's see. Then move the preloaded games menu doesn't come up with the preloaded games menu. Hmm. It says no game loaded. All right, I'll try grabbing the, the SD card from the uh, tiny arcade, if I can get it out. It's one of the ones you just slide in. It's not the like, the easy eject. Got him. Okay, I'll try. Maybe if I put in the SD card, it will be happy. Please be happy. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting... It is, it is hard to... <laughs> Press these little buttons. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right, so it works. Sorry, that's a bit hard to see on camera. I want to test a game with sound really quickly. Sure, tiny shooter. Then it has the the little uh, speaker control switch. All right, that's cool. So we know it works. 
That's good. Give me my card back. No. I think because I, I bought the SD card, I think what I can do is just clone it to another SD card so I don't have to keep swapping them back and forth. Now, yeah, you can use your own SD cards, you don't have to use theirs. However, I bought this one for the ease of it already coming with, like, a lot of games. Alright, that took ages, but I got it out. Sorry about that. But yes, card is out. As I was saying, I'll probably just clone it to another 8 gig card so that I have one for one for each. Alright, now what? Okay, I think now, now it's time for the part that took a good 15 minutes on the... Ooh. Whoa, you get, you get two. Let's see, are these for like... Ah! So one's for showing more of the screen, and then one's for just that. Oh, there's like a... I see, it's a button holder layer, and then... Alright, I see. So yeah, this one fits all the way around here, so that you don't need spacers. That makes sense. Okay, so before I do anything else, I gotta peel all of these. Alright, there's our um, bottom layer, our button holder. So, while I'm doing this, I'll talk a bit about this. I believe the Pocket Arcade is built to be, you know, smaller, more dense, and a bit more durable. So, yeah, it's, it's feasible that you would just put this in your pocket and carry it around. You wouldn't really want to do that with this. It's got the open back, and because it's not really securely held together, uh, stuff could happen to it that you wouldn't want pretty easily. So, this is the solution. <laughs> and, yeah, there are screws in this bag. Very, very long screws. Very long, thin screws. So, yeah, it's just going to be a bit more sturdily built, a bit more compact. And I still think it's hilarious that there's a hole in the clear plastic for the screen. This one doesn't come with stickers. But, you know, the, the arcade, it's stickers. That was really for it to look like a real arcade, this one. It's not really built to emulate a specific console, so it doesn't really need to look like anything. And, I mean, it, it looks cool as just bare PCB, in my opinion. Now the pieces of this one are a bit more thin, so I have to be extra careful here. There we go. That only took five minutes as opposed to the 15 of this guy. Looks like they made some improvements as well. I, I, personally, I felt like the glue was a bit less sticky on this one. Sorry, let's get all that crap out of the way.
Okay, peel the protective film off the screen because if you don't do that now, then it's going to be stuck under the button layer and uh, yeah, you're going to have a weird looking screen permanently. Oh wow, that's some tiny nuts. Look at that. Pun not intended. Look at look at these. Look at these nuts. They're so small. All right. Um, there we go. So I believe we're supposed to put in the buttons now. And then slap this on. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it says put the screws in. They're so long. So I have a feeling this is going to be a bit of a chunky boy. Okay, there we go. Now I've got the screws through the board. Let's see, okay, then it says first layer. think that this is the one that goes here. Oh, I should get that in inside the console. There we go. And if that one goes there, then this one should go here. to unstick the speaker. I underestimated how big the bezel would be around the sides of the board. Okay, I think now I'm yeah, yeah, now I'm now I'm clear to stick that down. Take the speaker down, place the, place the these onto the screws. Oh no, wires got stuck in them. Yeah, it has you put on a lot of these little acrylic layers. And then this one has a couple fingerprints, so I will wipe those off. Still has fingerprints. And of course I drag my finger across it right as I finish cleaning the fingerprint. This stuff gets fingerprinted and scratched so easily. There we go. All right, I think that's what I was supposed to do. All right, sorry, my camera died. So coming back and I will put the nuts on. These are absolutely tiny, so, you know, I gotta be super careful not to lose them. 
First I'm going to finger tighten them and then put a screwdriver through the other side and tighten them with like a pair of pliers or something. All right, there we go. That's absolutely adorable. And compared up against the tiny arcade, whoop, it's about the same size going up this way, but of course depth different. I want the nuts tight, but I don't want them too tight because that would uh, crack the acrylic. Okay, I feel like that's firm enough to hold the layers together, but not, you know, firm to the point of breaking anything. It feels nice and sturdy. Uh, it's not too heavy at all. I'll try this again. Sorry, I can't really see it too well on the camera. But, I mean, it's working well. Oop. I, uh, I actually meant to die, it's a strategy. Well, it works very well. I like it. I love the, you know, smaller form factor. It really does feel like I could just, you know, stick this in my pocket, take it somewhere. Oh wait, I forgot something. I forgot the lanyard. Actually, no, I think the bump side is supposed to be on the front. Nice. <laughs> the size of the lanyard compared to the size of this is pretty funny. Like this can just fit inside the lanyard. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for this video. If you would like, I, um, oh okay, yeah, I, I couldn't figure out what this was for. It didn't say anywhere in the manual that I could see. But yeah, uh, if you would like, I'll make a second video that's just the games, just a quick overview of the games. I'll probably do it, probably play them on this one because I feel like it's easier to hold it and point the camera at it than this one, which my fingers kind of cover. But yeah, um, I seriously recommend these kits. They uh, they were fun to assemble, and uh, I think I think they'll be pretty fun to play. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching, and that's it for this video. See you next time. Mm -hmm.